refillable capsules for your Nespresso machine? Are they any good? Let's look at a couple of options. Hello and welcome to another coffee review. This time I'm going to look at a couple of different refillable Nespresso capsules. First of all, the Alchemy system, and then the Cap Meso capsules. In the past, I've used the Alchemy ones, but not had a great result. I'm going to be looking at both of these today and comparing ease of use, quality of coffee produced, and cost. I'm going to be using Illy medium roast grounds for both capsules. First, let's have a look at the Alchemy capsules. You get six in a box. You also get a small dosing spoon, which also acts as a tamper. And also you get a small brush to clean the capsules out. The capsules have a resealable lid with quite a fine mesh. On the other end are the inlet holes for the water. The top doesn't get damaged at all by the prongs in the Nespresso machine as the top is quite recessed. Let's fill it up now. Not all the way to the top of the rim because the lid actually has to fit inside the rim slightly. And tamp it down with the spoon. Make sure the fit is nice and firm. Let's have a go with the Cap Meso system now. For some reason, I always want to call it Campresso. This system is a little different, but works broadly on the same principle. In the box, you get 20 capsules. They're supposed to be reusable 200 times each. You also get a dosing spoon, and you get a set of foil lids. Obviously, these aren't reusable. And you can see on this side that there are three holes through which the water is forced. No damage is caused to the capsule by the prongs in the Nespresso machine. So now let's fill up this capsule. You can actually fill this slightly fuller because the foil lid sticks onto the rim. Just be sure that you don't get any grounds on the rim. This can interfere with the stickiness of the foil lid and causes the lid not to stick properly. Just make sure the grounds are clear of the lip. And now to fix on the lid. The lids have a little tab on them to help you peel them off. And they fit quite easily on the lip. No need for great precision here. They work quite well. Just make sure that it's stuck down nicely. Okay, now for the important bit, let's make some coffee. Let's start the machine up. Takes a couple of seconds and let's make sure, yes, it's set to espresso. Let's load the alchemy capsule. You don't need to worry about which way up. And let's make an espresso. Push the button, couple of seconds it takes for the water to heat up. And here it comes. First impressions, well, it looks a little on the watery side. This is the same experience I was having last time when I tried to use this alchemy system. I have to say I don't use this day to day. It's put away in the cupboard. Hmm. 
Look at the crema there. It's not quite as rich and creamy as it should be. And look at that um, gap in the crema where the water's dripping through. Not very attractive. I don't know what you think. Let's try it from a taste point of view. And taste-wise, it's okay. It's it's really not up there with Nespresso capsules. It's a little thin tasting. Let's try the Cap Meso next. And again, you don't need to worry about which way up to put the capsule. And give it a couple of seconds. And here it comes. Now, straight away, to me, that looks a bit more appealing. The crema looks a bit thicker there. The colour's a bit richer, a bit browner, a bit creamier. And there's certainly a thickness to this that isn't there on the alchemy system. Let's take a closer look. Yeah, I mean, the colour of that is a little nicer. And there's no gap in the middle. Let's give it a taste now. And as for taste, well, taste-wise, there's not a huge amount of difference. Texture-wise, this is a bit thicker. And I hear you cry, but what about the cleanup process afterwards? And yes, there is one for both capsules. Let's get the Alchemy capsule out of the basket. And yes, you just pop the lid open, if you can get it open. And you clear out the coffee granules and wash and dry the capsule. That's it. The Cap Meso system is a little different. You just peel the foil lid off, recycle the lid and wash and dry the capsule. In conclusion, the winner for me here is the Cap Meso system. Its crema is much better and its taste is slightly better than the Alchemy. Prices can fluctuate wildly in different markets. But in the US, the Cap Meso system ends up saving you about 20% over third-party capsules and around 40% over Nespresso Originals. From an ecological point of view, these are a bit better, but Nespresso now offer recycling free of charge for their capsules. But let's face it, both of these are a lot more inconvenient and a bit messier than the Nespresso capsules. Please remember to like and subscribe if you feel like doing so, and thanks for watching. See you next time.